Hello my friends, yes it's time for the 30th Colonel Marvel's Miniatures Review vidcast. Each week I run down my list of new and upcoming 28-32mm sci-fi and fantasy miniature releases and add the odd comment here or there. It's been a relatively quiet week this week, so it's just a top 8 this time. I'm very pleased to say the show continues to be sponsored by Rattlehead Games, fine purveyors of many of the independent sci-fi and fantasy figures featured in the show. Crocodile Games kick us off this week at number 8. These modern era zombies are apparently recent conversions of some old miniatures sculpted by Croc Supremo Chris Fitzpatrick back in 1997. The dead will walk. These are nice sculpts, actually a bit too nice for my taste. I think these zombies are dead and dirty enough for me. I want missing body parts. At 7 we have dark water miniatures. This is a vampire captain sculpted by Ian Mountain. The figure comes in two parts, the main body and the arm with the long sword. The way his eyes are sculpted is a bit odd, and the overall pose is a little stilted. Our old chums over at Hasslefree take the number 6 slot. This quite marvellous wizard apprentice is sculpted by Mark K for Hasslefree's wonderful white metal range. Bucketfuls of character on this sculpt. And here's another lovely Mark K sculpt for Hasslefree, this time a suitably nasty looking mercenary or scoundrel. And also we shouldn't forget this rather cool 28mm space age scrunty, or grim, in power armour. At number 5, I'll be doggoned if it isn't West Wind Miniatures. These are upcoming German Jagged Hunt miniatures from their rather cool Secret of the Third Reich range. First up is this Doberman. As you may have guessed by now, these are human dog hybrids based on three German dog breeds. Here's a Rottweiler dude in a classic howling pose. And thirdly we have this, probably the one I like the least actually, it's the Alsatian Hybrid. These will cost five UK pounds each when released. Anima Tactics find themselves at number four this week. I'm really liking what I'm seeing recently from Anima Tactics, and this sculpt of Feng Yi by Juan Navarro only reinforces the point. It's a very elegant sculpt, which contrasts completely with the two huge agricultural style weapons she's wielding. Tremendous stuff. Roaring into this week's top three comes the vertically challenged Ollie's Armies. Yes, Scruntmeister Bob Ollie has a gaggle of new releases, including seven very cool Scrunt Commandos. This is the very impressive flamethrower. And then there's this rocket launcher. All seven of these new minis are available for 14 UK pounds. And finally Bob has a further seven, yes, another seven, new Elite Guard Scrunts now available on his website, one of which you can see here. As someone else said, that's a lot of stunties. So at number two this week, just edged out of the number one spot, it's Super Figs. Four colour figures who make the Super Figs line have six new 28mm superhero miniatures out now, a few of which I've featured here. First up, for $3.95 US dollars, is the head. I really like this mini, and I've always been a fan of the plastic bubble over the head look for space helmets, something Westwind, I think, have championed in recent years with their sci-fi range. Next up are these great Killbots, which look tremendous and will certainly look good with the recent Marvels winner, the Killer Bee Robot. A pack of five of these will cost 12 US dollars. Apparently four colours have a nefarious plan to rework the basic chassis and arms into new variants, i.e. mono wheels, laser arms and buzz saws. The more the merrier, I say. Sponsored in part by Blue Table Painting, your first choice for an excellent miniatures painting service. For this week's number one, well it just had to be Enigma Miniatures. Toktian is a spiny chaotic dwarf who will set you back 10.50 euros. He's a great miniature, sculpted by Raul Garcia Latour, but my only quibble would be his scale. He's 35mm head to toe. So that's a chunky dwarf you've got right there. Next up is Fuss, or Hell's Scum as he's subtitled, by the same sculptor and costing 9.50 euros. You've got to love this for the small nurgling, can I say nurgling, or grot peeking out of his stomach to give everyone the finger. And this is Bruma, again by the talented Mr. Latour, and selling for 9.50 euros. Not so keen on this one, to be honest. More because the whole voodoo queen concept doesn't do a lot for me than the fact that there's anything wrong with the sculpt itself. And finally, there's this great Morphous Hand of Null figure. This will cost 10.50 euros and is sculpted by Seth Nash. If you ask me, they're selling very close to the GW Nurgle IP there, but what the hell do I know? Not a great deal, as I'm sure you're aware. Anyway, get it while you can, in my considered advice. And that, I'm afraid, it's rather sadly, brings us to the end of another Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast. I'll see you again next week, and thanks for tuning in.